In a rapidly globalizing world, former colonial countries such as India and Brazil uh, are becoming increasingly important players and will be even more so in the future. And that is why uh, the History Department of the University of Essex, we try to offer a wide range of courses. Um, we do offer, for instance, courses on the history of China, the history of South Africa, the history of Brazil and of course the history of Russia and the United States because we think not only the history of the UK or Europe is important but it is important for students to understand the links between the different parts of the world, the links between the local and the global history. To take um, as an example my own courses, um, I teach a course on slavery uh, where we look not only at slavery on uh, plantations in the English Caribbean and Jamaica, but also at plantations uh, in the French uh, Caribbean, on the Spanish, uh, Spanish mainland, and also in Brazil. Uh, because I believe that the comparative study of uh, slavery allows us much uh, deeper insights into uh, slavery and allows us to understand much better the peculiarities of slavery in each colony. Um, I also do teach a course on um, uh, dictators in Spanish America in the 19th and 20th century. And again, this course tries uh, to understand uh, this from a comparative perspective. We look at the wars of independence in different Spanish uh, American colonies and how uh, during those wars emerged uh, charismatic leaders and strongmen who uh, very often became the first dictators of their respective countries. And this also allows us to understand the development of a whole political culture uh, where personal leadership, personal um, uh, styles were important in politics and allows us to understand why uh, people such as um, Fidel Castro or Hugo Chavez came to power and remained in power for so long in countries like Cuba and Venezuela. Um, I think the University of Essex is a fascinating place to study history, not only because of the wide range of courses we offer, but also of the fantastic resources we have in our library because of the many events which do take place on campus. Um, let me just mention here the Latin American art collections and the many exhibitions and uh, events related to that collection.